Hi there. Welcome back to another video by The Guiding Hands. As always, my name is Jing Young, and this is the third part of our Introduction to French video series. Today we're going to be talking about vocabulary. As with any language, speakers must be comfortable with being able to understand a large number of different a large number of different vocabulary words ranging across a wide variety of topics. Thus, in this video, we will be going over a plethora of vocabulary over a diverse range of different topics to help prepare you in your French learning language, as well as to broaden your horizons in vocabulary. As it is not possible to go over every single topic, we will. This video will provide basic but important vocabulary from key topics, including people. Food and meals, animals, clothing, houses, and rooms. This is just this is as you know, this is just very basic vocabulary and only several key important pieces for, from each category. Not necessarily a comprehensive or um, thorough um, listing of vocabulary, but just several keywords that may be helpful to know. So let's first talk about people. To say girl, you could say you would say fee. F I L L E, pronounced fee. Woman, it'd be femme. Boy, garçon. Notice the uh, accent on the C, garçon. Without the accent, it'd be garçon, which um, is an incorrect pronunciation, so it'd be garçon. And man would be um. Note that in French, the H is silent. So you'd say, um, um, omitting the H in your pronunciation. Person, person. So very similar spelling in that department. And for Mr., you would say Monsieur. Note that in Monsieur, the N is not pronounce, pronounced. And Miss, you could say Madame. An alternative for Madame is Mademoiselle. But note that for Mademoiselle, Typically, um, it is kind of an archaic word, and it is not really used. However, it describes specifically an unmarried woman, for those that are curious. And now let's talk food. So in French, food is la nourriture. And then, as with food, there are fruit and vegetable. So fruit spelled the same as it is in French as it is in English, but perhaps the fruit, vegetables, legume. And then, as you can see, an example of fruits are apples, uh, and in French, la pomme. And for vegetables, uh, you could have the carrot, and the French would be la carotte. Um, note that different, different uh, foods and just nouns in general are uh, masculine and feminine, which is characterized by a la for feminine and le for masculine. So then bread would be le pain. Obviously, popular popular French bread, the famous baguette, type of pain. And rice, le riz. It's pronounced le riz, not riz, le riz. Meat, la viande. La viande. Now let's talk meals. So meal in French is le, re, le repas, um, which is just one meal. Le repas is one meal. And so for breakfast, you'd say le, le petit déjeuner. Note that this is the metropolitan French. Breakfast meaning le petit déjeuner. In other parts of the world, you may have other um, Words for breakfast, for example, in Quebec, Canada, you'd have simply déjeuner for breakfast. But in terms of metropolitan French, as we continue, lunch is le déjeuner, dinner is le dîner, and you could say, and for snack, you could say le croute, which basically is the noun for snack, not necessarily a snack time. But alternatively to croute, you could also say la collation, um, and then on the right, you can see some things you could have during meals. Uh, breakfast, you could have eggs, les oeufs. 
Uh, for a meal, you can have les nuits, which are the noodles or noodles. And then for a snack, you have les rustils, which obviously are potato chips or just chips in general. Now let's talk animals. So for animals, in French, you'd say les animaux. Uh, you'd say animal is singular, les animaux is plural. Say cat, you'd say le chat, dog, le chien, fish, le poisson, lizard, le laser, frog, la crenouille, and we could think of another one, horse, le cheval. As, I'm, as was aforementioned, this is not really a comprehensive list, and in order to really master vocabulary, you really have to go over various um, list of vocabulary, but as we said, this video is, provides more of a basic insight into vocabulary. Now let's talk clothing. To say clothes, you would say les vêtements, shirt, la chemise, pants, le pantalon, sweater, the chandail, for jacket or coat, the manteau, socks, the chaussettes, shoes, similar pronunciation, the chaussures, for a hat, you would say le chapeau, a scarf, le chalp. For gloves, you could say le gant. And this is not, re not really clothing, but for a watch, you'd say la montre. And uh, yeah. And then now let's talk the house. So obviously, the house in various. Um, rooms or elements of the house. So for house, you'd say la maison. To say bedroom, you'd say la chambre. And inside a bedroom, you'd have a bed. And as uh, noticed by this graphic, bed is le lit. Not pronounced lit, but lit. Um, for the kitchen, you'd say la cuisine. Um, la cuisine not only means kitchen, but it also means literally means cuisine, as in French cuisine. You could say cuisine française or something like that. For a living room, you'd say le salon. For the dining room, la salle à manger, which literally translates to like the eating room. Manger is the verb to eat. The basement, le sous-sol, which literally translates to underground. Sous meaning under, sol meaning ground. Roof would be le toit. Now let's talk rooms. Obviously, we'd mentioned rooms in the previous slide, but this is now kind of less house specific. So to say room, you'd say la chambre, which as you saw, also means bedroom. But depending on context, it can mean different things. Uh, library is la bibliothèque. And inside libraries, obviously you read books. Books are livre. Le livre means book, one book, the book. Gym means gym in French is le gymnase. In the gym, you can play basketball, and basketball is le basket. A classroom would be la salle de classe, and a washroom, la salle de bain. And in a washroom, you could take a shower. Shower means a shower is la douche. And well, that'll be just about it for this video. I hope that you learned something and perhaps enjoyed the video and will be more enlightened on your journey to mastering the French language and more specifically, the vocabulary that comes with it. Merci et au revoir. See you in the next video. Bye.